Texas has been a leader uh, in, a, in a lot of different areas, but uh, uh, that transformation, particularly on these heavy haul uh, pieces of equipment, uh, where you actually aren't going long distances, but you're coming back to the home uh, facility every night, refueling there makes a lot of sense. And, and uh, um, you know, this company gets it uh, when it comes to alternative fuel, fuels and and. Um, Suzanne, I want to say thank you for being here as well, somebody that gets it about the, uh, she's one of the real leaders in our state over at TCEQ, uh, Director, Chief Engineer's Office, and we appreciate all the work that you're doing. It, it, it takes a real clear vision uh, to, um, and a lot of hard work, I might add, uh, to see a, uh, an event like today uh, become a reality, and, and that's why we're here today as UPS does uh, make this transformation over to um, the, uh, the, the clean fuel and the concept uh, of, of, of transitioning this fleet, uh, adopting these hybrid vehicles, uh, they're going to save a vast quantity of, of fuel uh, over the next few years and cut uh, thousands of metric tons of, of emissions. Um, the net result of, of these new trucks uh, is obviously going to be cleaner air uh, in our state. Uh, they're going to get more bang for their energy buck. Uh, and uh, a bottom line for Brown. <laughs> uh, and, and, and that's how we do things in Texas. I, uh, I tell people, I say, you know, that's how we roll. And uh, combining innovation and incentives uh, to, to achieve those types of successes. And um, I happen to think, as Tommy does, that uh, uh, government's at its best when it encourages businesses to take reasonable risks. Uh, we provide a predictable regulatory climate, uh, then get out of the way and let you succeed and, and uh, create jobs. And, uh, you know, when we apply incentives uh, instead of crushing mandates, uh, we appeal to the innovators, we appeal to the visionaries, and we end up with better technology uh, and smarter approaches. Uh, UPS is clearly stepping up, uh, and I might say not only stepping up, but they're stepping ahead uh, of the pack with this initiative. They're setting an example for their peers in the marketplace. Uh, I, I happen to think that that's the type of competition uh, that will create a, a more vibrant marketplace uh, as well as impact our uh, environment in a positive manner. Uh, it, we're pretty proud in Texas of being uh, a major provider of energy for this world. Um, our oil and gas industry is second to none. Uh, so this push for alternative uh, fuel is the next reasonable uh, step in an effort to continue leading in that energy sector. Um, and our progress comes from decisions that have been made on the basis of good sound science, uh, good business principles, um, not you know the guesses of government bureaucrats somewhere. Um, rather than ordering companies to do something a certain way with the accompanying threats of uh, huge fines, uh, we prefer to make renewable energy more accessible by cultivating a job-friendly uh, climate, offering incentives to make it more affordable. And I think the results speak for themselves. Uh, today, Texas produces more wind energy. Uh, than any state in the nation. As a matter of fact, Senator, more than all but four other countries in the world does Texas produce more wind than. Texas is also increasingly uh, investing heavily in solar energy. Uh, we got three utility scale projects scheduled to begin projection, or excuse me, projected to begin construction uh, soon, others in the developmental stage. Uh, we got 11 utility companies that are currently providing rebates for residential and commercial customers uh, to install solar energy projects. New power plants have come online. Uh, they have come online with advanced technology that makes them more efficient and cleaner burning, allowing those older, dirtier plants uh, to be taken offline. Um, and I like to use Texas as an example. Uh, for the rest of the country, uh, challenge our, uh, not just our neighboring states, but uh, 
all the states in the union to take a look at the way we're doing it. We are not using a punitive approach as Washington, D.C. all too often chooses, but the Texas way of moving into the future, which is encouraging positive growth. That growth is threatened, I happen to think, by folks in Washington who have fallen in love with this idea of cap and trade uh, that not only will increase the cost of everything that uh, uh, you buy in the United States, but it will also send hundreds of thousands of jobs uh, offshore. Um, even if clear-thinking Americans can persuade their representatives in Washington to kill this cap and trade uh, legislation before it blows a hole in our, our economy, uh, we'll still have challenges um, presented by an increasingly activist environmental protection agency. You know, when a EPA declared uh, carbon dioxide a, a, a toxic substance, uh, there were countless businesses and farms and even large churches that um, became very much in the crosshairs of their, uh, of, of their sites. Uh, I happen to think this is just some very overzealous regulation. Um, and again, I, I challenge them, take a look at what we've done in the state of Texas. Uh, we've combined the power of competition and wise incentives to expand our energy portfolio uh, and make our air more breathable. Here in Texas, we have reduced emissions of NOx by 46 percent, uh, cut ozone levels by 22 percent. Our CO2 emissions have dropped more than nearly every other state. Uh, while this success story has unfolded, uh, Texas has also created more private sector jobs uh, than any of the big states in this union, uh, attracted major employers to uh, this state during the midst of a major recession, and we've continued to add about a thousand people a day uh, to this state. Um, this new UPS fleet is another step in our state's journey uh, towards this abundable, abundant, renewable uh, energy and, and an even cleaner environment. So, David, I want to say uh, thank you, Stefan, thank you uh, to you and ob obviously all the uh, UPS uh, uh, employees that are here. Uh, it's uh, always a, a treat to get to see them, and uh, I will say that uh, UPS, not only a very efficient company, one of the friendliest companies. Uh, Guys that are driving these brown trucks are always, and gals, I might add, are, are always uh, uh, pretty handy with a wave and a howdy when we're out running on the road. So uh, anyway, continued good luck to you, and, and uh, um, we're, we're for you and want to see you continue to succeed and be a leader uh, in, in this industry and in this state.